Right now, this is the only CAF based custom room that exists with all the useful things what you need and it's the official version available for a lot of devices. In this video, we're going to talk about this custom room. The name is Paranoid Android or you can consider it as AOSPA. In case you want to write out on a device which are the things included, we are going to talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. It's based on the latest Android version, Android 14. Security update right now, what I'm using is December update. And based on January security patch, it's coming very, very soon because with the new update, you might not get some major changes. So we are here to talk about some of the things which are included by default. For example, the launcher. It's not Pixel Launcher, but you get pre-installed. It's kind of based on Launcher 3, but the name is Paranoid Launcher. You have same kind of options available, like the option to enable or disable at a glance widget. The option to customize some things in the Recents panel, like you can enable the screenshot, lens, and clear all options in the Recents panel. Not having major customizations like other custom rooms launchers, for example, CR Droid or Evolution XOS launcher, but still good enough. Moving on to the security options, you will see auto confirm unlock. Let me tell you one thing what this is. Let me just remove this pin lock once to show you. By default, what I found is in Android 14, if you use a six digit pin, then you see this kind of option like auto confirm correct pin. But in this case, even if you set the four, seven, four digit pin lock, you will still see auto confirm correct pin. Yes, this option is kind of available in a lot of custom homes by default, but that option is present only in the screen lock section, but not whenever you enter the screen lock. I think so you got my point, but this is little bit different here. So I just wanted to let you know in case you don't know that, then this is the thing which is included in Paranoid Android. Other options are kind of same here. One more thing is if you click and hold here, go to wallpapers and style section, you will find some wallpapers, some system icon pack options and some icon packs are pre-included. Not the Pavlova UI, Archerus, the quite famous ones available in a lot of custom homes. Those icon packs are not available there, but all the legendary icon packs available in all the custom homes from some time are present here. Some fonts options are present. You can choose any one of them. Harmony US, Google Sans. Some of these fonts are so good. The new clock options are also present because it is now implemented. The new QPR update is implemented. So new clock options are present here. And moving on to the wallpaper section, a lot of wallpapers are already included. You can choose any one of them in case you want to apply. Some wallpapers are looking so good. Some might not look. It depends upon you. One of my favorite wallpaper is this one. I try to use this wallpaper and I tried using Paranoid Android even in my Redmi Note 5 Pro and it was a good experience. Moving on to one more thing. If we are talking about the wallpapers, there's an app named as, uh, named as Abstract, which is pre-installed and it's available in all the devices, whichever you run on, whichever you run. And um, if you have installed Paranoid Android in that, you might get this app pre-installed. Some of the wallpapers include official OnePlus wallpapers, USPA wallpapers, etc. If you're looking forward to the Google Photos backup, because this is also one of the main things included in some custom homes, you get the storage saver quality, unlimited. As you can see, store unlimited photos and videos at a slightly reduced quality, not the original backup, and you don't have any toggle to enable or disable that thing. By default, in storage saver quality, you have the unlimited backup. Other than else, things are basically same here. For example, the quick settings panel, definitely in the dark mode. We have the separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles available there in case you wanna use them. Kind of a little bit useful thing. Other than else, security, because this is not having any major customization, same kind of options present here. Some useful things like gestures, quick, quick settings pull down, screen off gestures. If you talk about the quick, quick settings pull down, then you can simply swipe right, swipe down from the right side. Other than else, kind of same here. These were things I just want to let you know. In case you want to try it out on a device, the official or unofficial version, official version link is available in the description. For unofficial, you can check out the security, you can check out the community group, you can check out the XT thread. This is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.